Hello everyone to the Jewish Week Online. I'm your host, Aaron Herman. We had the opportunity to attend TechCrunch Disrupt New York and meet some innovative Israeli startups. We met with Impress, a unique startup that allows users to type without having to type words, and Magista, which is a leader in creating stories through fun videos. Let's take a closer look. Israeli technology is truly unique, and uh, you've developed something that uh, is really transforming the way people uh, with disabilities uh, or people who just want something a little bit easier to, to type. Uh, actually, not type, just do it through your, your own way. So I'll talk a bit about your company. Okay, so um, there are 300 million visually impaired around the world, and they are struggling to adopt attachment technologies. When they do have, exist some solution for screen reading, there isn't any efficient way to type on attachment without looking at it. And what's a problem for them, it's also a problem for us. We always have to look at attachment when you're typing. So we created a technology that makes it possible to type without looking at the screen using intuitive finger gestures. And uh, let me show you how it works. I'm putting my hand on the screen, and the keyboard adjusts to the user hand. You see these circles? It's a hot zone. It comes whenever my finger goes. Then I can just type by touching or moving the, uh, the circles. For example, okay, I typed hello. How I did it? I did it with a gesture for H, gesture for E, and so on. So it's uh, it, every character has its own unique gesture that you need to memorize, but it's pretty intuitive, so it's easy to remember. And after uh, 20 to 30 minutes of practicing, you can actually type without looking at the screen. And if you are looking at the screen, it's an invisible keyboard. So how did you come up with this company? Well, I was sitting with a friend, and uh, we were discussing about the keyboard. It was two and, two and a half years ago. And uh, we realized that um, the regular keyboard actually is not effective on touch devices. It doesn't make any sense. The QWERTY keyboard is 140 years old. And you constantly need to look at the screen when you're typing, and it's not comfortable. And it's, uh, it's tiring. So we were thinking about um, something else. And I, was, I went home and I was talking with my father that he's also an inventor. And we started working on something new that, uh, that we can change the way we think totally outside the box and look for something that will be special for touchscreens. Well, the, uh, to the direction the technology goes. After a while, we realized that it can be amazing for visually impaired. So we're starting with them. But eventually we want that everyone will be able to use it. So walk us through some of the technology behind behind this. Like how how do you come up and how does it actually know like what you're drawing and Okay. So basically today when you're touching the touch screen, it doesn't know which finger touched it. So it doesn't matter if I'm touching with this finger or this finger or this finger or this finger. What we did, we added another step. So when you first touch the screen, it's um, separating the fingers and it gives an, uh, a certain hot zone to every finger. So you can do the same gesture for a different finger, it would create a different computer command. It's multiplied the amount of easy to do gesture in thousands, which means that you can use this thousand of gesture to type characters and to do other, um, other computer commands. You can create a full sentence, for example. Uh, that you can predefine, or you can create a very long password that you predefine. So it simplifies the way you use it after you learn the way to type. It's much easier, it's fun, it's intuitive, and uh, eventually it would improve the, um, the way you use touch devices. And this is wonderful for people with disabilities yes, to, uh, to really communicate where they might not be able to, you know, know how to type or whatever. It's just you said it's more intuitive and they're able to do something that um, is was really unheard of in the past. Uh, what's your what's your hope for your, you know your startup? Well, we can do much more with this technology. We can uh, take it to a uh, direction of uh, um, security with for, for gaming. And eventually, we want everyone to use it. We want we don't want the visually impaired to be different than the society. We want everyone to be more empowered. So what we created here, everyone can use. Um, we also add the feature for if a person knows how to type Braille, he can actually type Braille on the touch screen itself. Would you like to see that? Yeah, sure. I'm just switching to the Braille keyboard, and I will need to put it on the table. If you don't mind. Yeah.
and I turn on the volume. So what I did with one hand, here I can do with two hands. I just put in two oh, hands on the wow. screen, and then uh, a blind Space. person can actually type the Braille that a, he knows. B, C, D. Okay, this is what I did here, it's Braille. Braille is like combination of fingers. So it doesn't need the $2,000 Braille device, you can just install what we did and work with this. This is true, this is like, you know, disruptive is a word, but this is not just disruptive, this is life-changing for, for many people. Yeah. Um, where can people learn more about your company? Pardon? Where can people learn more about your company? Okay, so we are uh, basically a family-based uh, company. It's uh, my father and I. And now we have another four uh, people working with us. We are bootstrap. We uh, spend our own uh, self uh, money on it. And a national grant from the Israeli chief of scientists. Um, so uh, we're here in Tech on this Disrupt looking for uh, investment. And uh, um, our dream is to change uh, the life, to change the way people use touch devices. Magisto is a company that has evolved and uh, is in the startup scene is a leader in creating uh, innovative videos quickly and effectively. So tell us a little bit about the evolution of Magisto. Okay, and Aaron, thanks so much because we're really happy to have you as a user and a Magisto enthusiast. And uh, a lot has happened with Magisto. Um, we actually have grown since last year. Last year we had around 3 million registered users, and right now we have 30 million registered users. So, um, you know, we're finding that Magisto is um, gaining great acceptance, you know, among uh, parents, sports enthusiasts, um, travelers. Um, we've had some exciting things happen this year uh, with brands continuing from what we did last year. We've been working with the Di uh, Discovery Digital um, Network and we created a travel theme for them that um, has been used 800,000 times and wonderful travel movies made and also um, those movies have been shared over four million times. So. One, one of the best parts about Magisto is how easy it is. I know for myself who uses different themes, um, you know, changing the way that you tell your story is, is re really unique with, with the interface. So talking about the travel, I started using the travel one and it's just like just telling your story is, is wonderful like uh, professionally and personally uh, I, I was at a farm with, with my son and, and my wife and my brother uh, and his family and just in, literally in five minutes I had a high quality video which I shared with my family and my friends and the, I, my mom said like I watched Magisto like 30 times in a row because it was just so powerful and it's the story because of the images and the editing. Um, how has um, I guess the templates evolved in terms of like how do you decide like which templates you should add um, or you, from, is it from the user feedback or is it an internal thing? Well, I think that, you know, one of the things that Oren Boyman, who is the CEO and co-founder of Magisto, cares really deeply about is, you know, putting emotion into people's personal stories. And so it's so fascinating that he's using artificial intelligence and algorithms to actually help human beings be more human connect with other human beings and people they care about and tell their stories with emotion. So I think that, you know, in looking at the new themes that we want to give people, um, it has a lot to do with the events that people care about. Um, they care about travel, they care about uh, Mother's Day. Um, we did a uh, custom theme for Brad Paisley, who's a country music superstar, and that was for a song that was all about how people in your lives, life have changed your world. And so I think that the one thing you'll find running through all the themes is that Magisto wants to convey the emotion that you feel at that moment, and you want to share that with somebody else and show them in a video, you know, with images, with music, you know, what you're feeling at that moment. And besides the themes, you're able to add, like, music that, you, that you've licensed or add music that you have personally on in your, in your albums. Um, 
one of the other parts that I, th I thought was exciting was the different contests that, that you mentioned. Is that yes. it, is you're able to get involved socially and people get to vote on your um, on, on your video. I know that when I did something for uh, I thought it might have been Brad Paisley, uh -huh. and I, I shot things with my family, and I had random people saying, "I love you. your son's so cute" or whatever. <laughs> I was like, "This is great," you know, yeah. like yeah. people. It's it, you're you're doing that connection um, and building a new community. Uh, where do you see Magista going in the next like two years? Well, um, you know, we really look forward to Magisto becoming the household name and, you know, as um, known to everyone, you know, as, uh, as it should be. Um, and we also are really looking to make things easier for people, even easier than they are now. You know, Magisto enables you to make uh, a movie in just three clicks and uh, a few minutes to wait for it to be finished. But we introduced something at CES in January that's going to be coming uh, in the next quarter with Qualcomm. And that is on the Qualcomm devices uh, using their Snapdragon chip, we're actually going to make uh, the editing start happening on the device while you're shooting. And also in the cam crew technology, we will be giving you tips as if you had a director and a camera crew with you, we're going to be saying, oh, the lighting is not good here, move your camera here. You're going to be able to identify the important people to you in a video, and then the camera will automatically, right, using the Magisto app, track those people and make sure to keep them in your, in your movie. So um, the automation, the idea that eventually uh, you'll be able to have Magistos of all the important events in your life, and you'll have you'll have to do very little to get them. You are your crew. You know, being a video journalist, you know, it's sometimes very lonely. But yes, now, yes. But now, but now you can uh, have different people on your team, literally uh, in the palm of your hands, and you have different price structures uh, so that people can enhance their um, their films. Well, and you know, the Magisto app is free and um, everybody can use it for free, but we do have uh, a premium version where you can make longer videos, add more uh, photo and video content, and also download your videos in HD if you want, and that is just $4.99 a month if, if you want to do that. So it's uh, very reasonable. Um, and, and premium if that's what, you know, you become yeah. a, uh, an enthusiast for Magisto. As you can see, Israeli technology is transforming the way that we connect to each other and share our lives with our friends and family. This is Arnold Herman. Thank you for watching.